Welcome back, folks. This is MDog, and we are uh, at a new map. So I know I've been working up towards us going to Italy, and we are still going to do that. I still haven't been to Italy. But Finland did unlock when we hit 26. And frankly, last night there was a whitefish quest on Caddisfly that was sort of a mindless activity to go do that. And... Um, but once I got to Finland, it's pretty expensive to travel here. It's 230 silver, which it you make a lot of silver here too, to be fair. But um, well, I, once I was here, I rem remembered how much I enjoy trolling this area. Um, I already found a possible bream spot for night. You can also go for burbot at night. There's just a lot of fun stuff you can do here. You can see it's a very big map, a lot of water. Uh, do notice that there's a place here where you can fish market. You can sell fish without having to go all the way back to base if you so desire. Uh, but as far as trolling goes, so I'm using these, uh, I've got two of these now, right? We bought a second one. I'm back down to 2,600 silver. I'd gotten up to about 10,000, but, um, but these setups are fairly expensive. But that, in the big scheme of things, they're actually very cheap considering the type of fish you can get on. Now, we're a little under strength, I would say, for some of the fish in the water here, but for a lot of them, it's just a really good fight. Um, so we're at 29 on the leader, 30, 29, 16 on the reel. We're not getting as much power as we could, but um, it's pretty good. It's a pretty nice little setup. So on this, rod, on this rod, we're trying the Deep Tail M3, which you can purchase here at Finland. Uh, and it seems to work really well. In fact, if you look at the a uh, lot of the record lists, you tend to see those uh, on the records list. And then the other one that we're using is a Salmon GT1. And, and, and now I can't remember where I got this one because you can't buy these here. But I've they're somewhere because I purchased one of them. Um, and I, and I'll, I'll come back to you on that because I, I just can't remember right now. But I wanted to try these two lures out first um, and kind of see how that goes. Did we just catch a fish just throwing the spoon in the water? So when we get this fish in, I will show you some of the fish that we're going for in terms of what I've caught after just trolling for a few minutes. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. You see my fish, my keep net is almost half full because really these are pretty big fish we're catching. Um at this at this place and we definitely can run into some fish that will frankly just be very difficult to get in with this gear um i remember my fun back before i reset my account the fun i had here increased even more once i got sort of the next level of upgrades on spinning because then you can really uh more efficient efficiently and aggressively go for even the biggest fish here as far as spin fishing but this is a fun place to be at though like just some good fights so look at this a lot of these fish that we're catching you'll notice are really good xp just better xp than most of the fish we've been catching up to this point in the game um and so that really adds up you can see we're already well into 26 just from doing a couple of dailies and uh and catching a few fish here so we're right here on the map. We're kind of working our way. Let's, um, and, and also notice the boat that I'm using. I really like using this boat because you can chase down fish when you need to. Now, once you've got the stronger equipment or if you just really want to comfortably fish with three setups, then going to um, the bigger motor boat that has the three rod holders and then you just have to... Um, you know, fish standing in the back of the boat, where in this one, it's small enough that you can still control your speed and everything while engaging the fish fight, which I just really like, especially with this guy's gear. We're getting some rain. Let's see what this one, it's a little smaller one. We actually have been able to pull this in pretty aggressively, even though we're still moving forward on our troll. I'm wondering if those salmon spoons, maybe those are available at Netherlands. All right, there's another lake salmon. So even a regular size lake salmon, over 1600 XP, 
Now what I don't remember is, are we going to get some decent silver? That's what I'm not sure. I'm hoping we can successfully fill up our net here uh, in the next little while. So we're going to kind of troll on top of some of these deeper areas and then probably sort of make the loop around or something like that. We'll see how it goes. You'll see the bite rate though on this one. Like I'm starting to wonder if the play here... Oh, I still haven't shown you what fish we've caught yet. I apologize. Let's, let's do that first and I can kind of talk about the bite rate. We've had a couple fish on the spoon. One of them you saw. Um, the spoon might be better for just like casting and such. I could see trolling just being a little bit better with some of these wobblers that even in the store description they mention they're, they're um, especially suited for trolling. I also want to try to troll a topwater lure to see if that works in this game at all. I'm kind of curious about that. All right, another lake salmon. We are on the lake salmon. All right, so let's look at this. We have four lake salmon now. The large lake salmon especially. I think it's going to be nice in terms of silver. Arctic chars. It's always interesting to see. All right, so the Arctic chars. The Arctic chars have a chance of giving you salmon row if you, if you um, use them for crafting, right? We did get one northern pike and one Atlantic salmon. Now this was a nice fish and notice that one was on the on the um, the spoon, that salmon GT1. So And the large lake salmon was as well. So it kind of makes me want to keep using it, one of the Arctic chars. But overall the bite rate's been a little faster on the deep tail. And so I've wondered like, okay, should we get two of the deep tail, make, you know, two different colors of the deep tail and just kind of go like that? Or um, is this salmon spoon worth using? We'll see. Oh, here's another one. So maybe this will help convince me. If we get into a bigger fish, we'll stop trolling forward. But if, if I can pull it in while still trolling, all right, I'll slow it down a little bit. Then it's nice because you can be catching another fish on the other line while you're getting in this fish. This should be a pretty decent one. This map has changed though. Uh, the shape of the map. I used to just know some exact routes that I liked doing for trolling. I'll point out the general direction of where they are, but again, I don't, I think the geography of the map is just different now. These are just fun to catch and they also are consistently good, good XP. He pulls right at the last second every time. See if we can just get him straight in close enough that we'll just lift him out. That happens, huh? All right, let's see if we can just lift and not, not reel. Maybe he won't run as much. No. This is weird. Got him. Baltic salmon. Is that our first Baltic salmon? They get really large, but again, regular 1744, not bad. We need to slow this troll down. Yeah, that's our first Baltic. I'm pretty sure Baltics get enormous. Yeah, 38 using this Nord. Oh, the GT3 has the largest Atlantic. Okay, that's interesting. Thanks, love. All right, so when we have two fish on like this, we want to make sure we keep the tension up on the other rod. So like if it starts to go slack like that, I'll move forward a little more quickly until it starts to pull again. 
and then we'll slow down. They fin the fish can pop off anytime, but they tend to pop off more, I think, when they're slack. But we've almost got this one in, so hopefully we'll be able to grab both of them. All right, nice lake salmon. All right, there we go. And if we ever full needed to like chase a fish, we could. So far I haven't needed to, but if we start hitting those big boys, then obviously we could have to do that. But you can put this whole, this whole spinning set you can put together for about even even the line, I think it's between seven and eight thousand, something around that, maybe eight, something like that. So it is a really good investment, especially when you can come here and catch fish like this. So, we want to go, let's actually go through here, right? Yeah, I think so. I think that's the island that the fish market's on. Oh, does that have a fish on? Oh, maybe that's just hitting the bottom. because we were going too slow perhaps I don't know okay so this is where you spawn in so I used to troll up here fish up here for pike more and then way down in here like there was this long route a lot of it was deeper where I'd fish for all the stuff we're fishing for now but you could also get them up here at the top just running right along the top um, this whole area, I don't remember this. I feel like this is new stuff. Of course, some of the uh, fly fishing and stuff can happen over here on this little creek. But this is just a great little map. I guess we need to double check. Do we have something on here? I think this is just rubbing against the bottom. Maybe we're not trolling fast enough to um, get it higher. Or is it just because we're in a shallower spot? All right, so we're gonna come through here and then take a right once we get alongside this island. Yeah, this is the island where you can sell fish. We could troll back in here, but I think I'd rather get back to the main water. It seemed to be, the bite rate out there seemed to be really good, so. So at some point, I want to save up 75,000 silver to get the Pro Farmer Keep Net. Uh, this is the first map I've seen it on. It's definitely for sale here, and there's three versions of it. They only get more expensive from there, but Tier 1 is 75,000. And once we get that one, I'll start, in, I'll start improving it. We'll start putting... Um, 
putting some uh, currency and stuff into it to get it even better and better. Okay, getting over a little deeper area again here. It's a nice little boat for uh, for troll for trolling though, for trolling too at least. I guess you could hold a third again. I don't know in Fisher Online if that really works. I know in Fisher Online you can switch spots. So like if I had this out. I could put it down where that is and then hold this and then switch it again if I needed to. So that's pretty cool. I don't really want to catch anything on this lake using that little trout setup though, at least not out in the main waters. I'm actually tempted to take these bream quests only because I know there's a, some good bream fishing at night here. We'll see. Maybe I won't. Oh, come on. There's a large one. 1,800. I love it. All right, we can catch one more, and then our net's going to be full, if it's a, unless it's a tiny one. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring this one in so that we don't get an extra fish on that we can't keep. Let's just see what we've got here. Uh, it does kind of seem small, but it's pretty much going to be a full net. trout is that two river trout no that's our first river trout that's awesome so we're already starting to fill in some of the fish on the lake now some of this stuff is going to be in different locations uh, it does look like asp is possible on the deep tails so maybe we'll just get one of those trolling eventually obviously some of these trout we need to head up in certain spots for possibly the grayling as well uh, and then there's some bottom fishing we need to do. We haven't seen an Arctic mool. Looks like that's mostly... So people are catching those on Caddisfly, but we also just had that quest where you, the daily you had to use Caddisfly um, to catch the whitefish. It's kind of a weird, weird quest. 
All right, let's head back to base and see how we've done. Yeah, 465. So I could fill this net at least twice a day, right? I mean, that's going to be no problem, possibly three times. And then bream fishing, no doubt. I mean, you're going to be able to make 500 a night bream fishing if you choose. So the amount of silver, it feels like the amount of silver that you can make at this map is pretty solid, maybe significantly more than some of the other maps. Um, just depending on what you're going for. But so here are the deep tails. Uh, they're 250 each. We have the M3, but um, eventually I think I'll get all of them. Also have these. I want to try trolling with these. These are 15 gram. These are 45 gram. So this might get some smaller fish. Uh, they, this is also where you can buy these walkers you do see these on the on the records list fairly often at different places so these are probably some pretty good lures as well and then just all kinds of random lures that many of them i already have that we could try here that would probably work pretty good uh, but the spinning rod combo that i have is um is this one right here so 3500 for the rod and then the reel is 56 so i'm wrong it's over 9,000 for the whole setup because the line is also at least the line that i'm using is 1200 by itself so about 10,000 right about 10,000 i must have been up to 12 something when i purchased the second setup uh, earlier today or last night okay so there you go this is finland Kulgu Lake, and uh, I'm excited. Yeah, we'll definitely be doing a lot of fishing here, although we still do have to get to Italy as well, which technically, in terms of levels, uh, Italy does come first. It's only level 22. But we're here at 26. Um, trying to see what's the next thing. Oh, yeah, it's not too long because you can go to fin uh, Sorry, Serbia at 28, and then when you hit 30, you can go to Iran. So... There's so many maps now in the game, you hardly ever have to wait long until there's something new you can check out. So I've been using this boat, but you can also go in this one, a really nice fast boat, but it only has two rod holders as well. And I think this one, it's actually harder to, like I can't pull out my fishing rod unless I go to the deck, right? So it, it just doesn't, to me, it's also not letting me, oh, there we go. Um, so it doesn't make a sense, as much sense to me to do this one when we can move around so effectively in the other one. And then if you have three setups and want to just be trolling with three, or if you want to be out there trolling and then be able to switch to, um, you know, using bottom rods at night or whatever, then this is the one. And this is the, this boat has been on a couple of the other maps as well. This is a really fun, fun boat to use. But again, it's not like I can sit here driving around and picking up and putting down my rod. So that's why I like that one boat for trolling here, especially with the size gear we have. I just think it's it's perfect so but th but this is a really nice boat you can actually store some of your fish in the fridge of the boat as well so okay so that'll do it for this video um tight lines everybody i will see you next time